Tesla remains just as committed and excited to bring Semi to scale next year in 2026. Since Dan Priestley's keynote at the 2025 ACT Expo, nearly every discussion about the Tesla Semi has focused on the same headline stats, 500 mile range, one megawatt charging, and a new Nevada Gigafactory cranking out 50,000 trucks a year. Those are big numbers, no doubt, but they barely begin to explain the real impact this truck could have on the U.S. freight landscape. Right now, many fleets still compare the Tesla Semi to diesel in simple electric versus fuel terms. But they're overlooking a much bigger economic transformation. Everything we talk about in today's episode is based on real-world pricing and peer-reviewed studies. This isn't a what-if scenario. It's a breakdown of how this truck could radically improve fleet economics. And don't worry, we're not suggesting you go get a CDL and start hauling loads yourself. Welcome to EV Future Insights. Let's dig into what's really going on with the Tesla Semi. Is the Tesla Semi actually happening? Yes. Despite quiet months and some online speculation, the ACT Expo Kino crushed cancellation rumors with hard facts. Tesla's nearly completed a dedicated 1.7 million square foot semi factory in Nevada, designed for 50,000 units per year. That means the semi will no longer borrow space from the Model Y production lines. It'll have its own high-volume setup. Tesla has also secured permits or funding for 46 public megacharger stations. Each one will push 1 to 2 megawatts of power, enough to add 350 miles of range in just 30 minutes, creating a charging corridor from Los Angeles all the way to Charlotte. And on the road? Far from idle. 26 prototype semis have each surpassed 100,000 miles, bringing total testing to nearly 8 million miles. All that real-world data has shaped an upcoming refresh, a lighter high-voltage battery, improved mirrors, and better driver visibility. Production is scaling steadily through 2025, aiming for full volume by 2026. Beyond driving, a power plant on wheels. The Semi's new battery doesn't just offer range, it turns every truck into a massive mobile battery pack. Dan Priestley explained that the latest HV pack holds nearly one megawatt hour of energy. That's enough to power an average U.S. home for over a month. Now picture a distribution hub with 20 parked Semis. Together, they store around 20 megawatt hours of energy, similar to the daily output of a small solar farm. Tesla built a two-way power outlet, EPTO, into the semi. Typically, it powers refrigerated trailers. Flip a switch, and that same energy can power the building instead. It's a pop-up power plant hiding in plain sight. California's energy market already pays batteries for providing energy back to the grid. A conservative estimate? Even discharging for just a few hours daily could net a fleet tens of thousands of dollars per year. PepsiCo's Bakersfield plant provides a real example. Just five semis arriving at 7 p.m. with 40% charge can sell back two megawatt hours during peak rates, then top up at night when electricity is cheaper. One night of this nets around $230. Over a year? Over $80,000 before counting credits for electric refrigeration. Value while parked. Diesel trucks lose value the moment the engine shuts off. But Tesla semis can keep earning, even when parked. During power outages, they can keep warehouses running, lights, servers, forklifts, thanks to their huge batteries. Even just trimming short-term power spikes can save businesses thousands in penalty charges. Put all this together and over 10 years, a single semi could earn back $300,000 to $400,000 of its cost without even factoring in lower maintenance or fuel savings. Helping solve the driver shortage. Truck driving is hard. Loud engines fatigue long hours. It's no wonder the industry is short over 80,000 drivers as of 2024, and that number could double by 2030. Replacing just one long-haul driver costs about $12,800. A fleet of 250 trucks can easily lose a quarter of its drivers per year. Drop that by just 10% and you save over $319,000 annually. 
Drivers report that the Tesla Semi transforms their experience. Near silent cabin, smooth acceleration, no gear shifting, and fewer fuel stops. It's not just a better drive. It's a less stressful, more sustainable job. In fact, scientific testing shows that reducing vibration and cabin noise cuts fatigue by 38%. That adds an extra 1.2 hours of alert driving, enough to finish a full shift without risking legal penalties or worse, accidents. The 625-mile network, Tesla's megacharger network, is taking shape. With 46 high-power sites already funded or approved, the infrastructure is real. Each charger adds 350 miles in 30 minutes, just enough time to stretch, grab a snack, and check your load. String those stations together and you've got a high-speed freight corridor from L.A. to Charlotte with stops in Phoenix, Dallas, Memphis, and Atlanta. It's like an express lane for electric trucks. Plus, each stop can serve as a micro-power plant, pushing energy back into the local depot or grid. Add in platooning, groups of three trucks driving together to cut wind drag, and you stretch the semi's range from 500 to over 600 miles. Tesla plans to bring hands-free driving to the semi by late 2025. That means one lead driver could pilot a trio of trucks, dramatically reducing labor costs. The real cost of a mile. A diesel truck burning $3.56 per gallon fuel at 6 miles per gallon costs 59 cents per mile. A Tesla semi using 1.66 kilowatt hours per mile at 12 cents per kilowatt hour? just 21 cents. With platooning and off-peak charging, that drops to 18 cents or lower. That's less than one-third the operating cost of diesel. Plus, dispatchers can rethink routes into three-hour legs between chargers, just like airlines use hubs. Faster turnarounds, shorter wait times, fewer driver handoffs, all of this boosts efficiency and keeps goods moving faster. Carbon credits equals extra cash. In California, Electric trucks earn low-carbon fuel standard credits, about $4,760 a year per truck, just for driving clean miles. Add EPA's ARIN program, and you're looking at another $7,650 annually per semi. That's $12,000 plus per year, per truck, just in digital fuel and carbon credits. Multiply that across a fleet? It's significant income that diesel trucks will never see. So. What are fleets waiting for? Tesla's already clocked 7.9 million test miles. The charging network is growing. The business case is stronger than ever. So why haven't fleets jumped in with both feet? What's holding them back? Let us know your take in the comments. Thanks for watching EV Future Insights. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button, share with other Tesla fans, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. We've got more deep dives coming soon on Tesla EVs, AI, and autonomy. See you in the next video.